Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to this channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about the law of contract, a brief introduction to a contract. What is a contract? What does it entail? Types of contracts, just so that you understand it basically and briefly. So I'm going to look at the different ingredients that are involved in a contract and the different types of contracts and can it be oral, can it be written or can it be implied from the way we behave. So this is what this video is all about. So what is a contract? A contract is anything that you agree to, anything that is legally binding, a relationship, something you talk about and agree to and intend to agree to or to be held by it, that is a contract. For example, Janice can agree with Jack that she's going to buy Jack's car for 20 million shillings, that is a contract. They intend to be bound by what they are saying to be bound, that is a contract and to be enforced as a contract in law. So this contract can be oral, in other words, you can just say it and not write anywhere, that is an oral contract. Or it can be written, we can agree and we write down, Janice writes down what they've agreed, they both sign, that is a written contract. And then it can also just be implied from contra conduct. Here in this case, Janice gives her money to Jack and Jack gives the bands to Janice, nothing is written, nothing is said. From their conduct, we understand that they, she's bought the car from the other guy. That is a contract so it can be implied in law it can be written down or it can be oral that so this is just really for you to understand that a contract is any deal simply simply say any deal any agreement anything you agree to as long as you intend to be bound by it and can be written it can be spoken or it can be from conduct so there are different types of contracts i'll just give a few examples Social contracts. These are contracts where there are promises, you know, so and so promised to marry so and so. That's really a social contract. And in law, these are not enforceable unless there's consideration that is exchanged between the two people. Then we have contracts that are illegal. The law cannot uphold an illegality. In other words, you agree to, 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 to be paid 10 million shillings to kill someone. In, in, in case you kill the person and you're not paid, you cannot go to court and say, no, I was not paid, so I should, you know, they, they, because I shot for them. No, no, no. The law cannot uphold an illegality. What you did in the first place was illegal, so the law cannot support it. So those are illegal contracts. Then we have bilateral contracts. Bilateral means two. The word bi means two. These are contracts between two people. Any two people, they're bilateral. And these are opposed to the unilateral. Unilateral is one person contracting with, for example, the rest of the world. If I sent out an advert saying that whoever finds my dog, I'll give them 10 million shillings. That's a unilateral contract between me and anyone out there or and the rest of the world. So these are just examples of, of, of contracts. And like we said, contracts really are agreements. Think of them like agreements, examples of agreements. They could be social contracts or illegal contracts. Social contracts where people promise there's no real substantial strength in their promise they're just saying oh i promise you that i'll love you next year that's a social affair really so those are social contracts so this slide is just giving you other examples of kinds of contracts or agreements you could find their contracts between governments china agrees with uganda that they'll construct a road for uganda and uganda is to pay back or it could just be a contract in your house. You agree with someone to bring beans to your house every month. That is a contract. Or you enter into a contract to buy land. That is a land contract. Or you contract your friend. Or you agree with your friend that you're going to get a business, sell things, and you split the profits. All those are just examples of contracts. And like we said, a contract is simply an agreement. I now want to distinguish between a valid contract, a void contract, and a voidable contract. These three terms confuse students a lot. So a valid contract is a contract that is existing or legal or valid from the very beginning. For example, Jackie is 12 years old, a minor. She signs up to be mentored by someone else. That is a valid contract because it's a contract to help improve the minor's skills. Typical example of a valid contract or any kind of contract that has no illegalities or any issues, that's a valid contract. A void contract, on the other hand, is a contract, this word void, is a contract that is illegal from the very beginning. It's not existing. The law does not recognize it from the very beginning. 
For example, Jackie is 12 years old and she enters a shop and takes things on credit. That is a void contract because she's a minor, she cannot contract. But bottom line, a void contract is one that is wrong or non-existing or, or non-recognized from the beginning. It doesn't exist, it's not considered. Now, voidable, on the other hand, a voidable contract is a contract that is void unless either party makes it valid. For example, here the minor Jackie enters into a contract to buy land, then she changes her mind. In that case, she has the right to change back her mind and make the contract valid. So a voidable contract is a contract that is void or cancelled unless one party makes it valid. I hope that distinguishes between void, valid and voidable. Void, it's not existing. Valid, it's existing. Voidable, it's not existing unless one party makes it valid. So when we go to the actual section of the law, section 10 of the Contract Act, it gives the actual ingredients of a contract. What is a contract? It says it's an agreement. Let me use a highlighter here. It says it's an agreement. That is one ingredient made with the free consent of the parties. That's another ingredient who have capacity to contract. That's another ingredient contracting for a lawful consideration with a lawful object, i.e. there's no illegality and they, they, there's an intention that they should be legally bound in this contract. So this is what the law defines a contract to be. And when we are trying to establish whether this issue or any issue was a valid contract, these are some of the things we look for as we're going to see. So those points that I've talked about are illustrated in here. All this is what is called the valid contract, a contract that can be enforced and must have these five aspects generally for the contract to be enforced. There must be free consent, it has to be lawful consideration, not illegal. It has to be that the parties had the capacity to contract, they were not minors, they were not drunk, it was free consent. It has to be contracting for a lawful purpose and a lawful object. So these are the elements that we look for when we are looking for a valid contract. And every contract has to be subjected to all these elements for it to be valid and enforceable in law. So we look for, was there a valid offer? Did someone make an offer? Was that offer accepted? Did they furnish consideration? Both parties did both, did both parties give consideration? Was there an intention to create legal relations or to be legally bound? Do all the parties have the capacity to contract? Was there a meeting of minds, what we call consensus ad idem? And then are there any things that vitiate the contract or not? So once these have been satisfied, then the contract has been, is deemed to be valid and it will be enforced in law. So I'm going to cover each of these aspects in a separate video so that I keep the videos short and on point. So if you want to know about a valid offer, what are the rules governing a valid offer, look out for the video on offer. What are the rules that govern acceptance? Look out, or probably I'll, I'll add, I'll make one video for offer and acceptance because they're usually two lumps together and they're very short topics. So there's, there'll be a video on each of these topics. Look out for it.